Hi everybody and welcome to my channel, Vintage Closet 75, your sophisticated, chic thrift store. Um, we are currently online at VintageCloset75.com, but that is going to change very soon. I am in the process of building a mobile boutique. And for everyone that doesn't know what a, what a fashion mobile boutique truck is, it's a store on wheels. Everyone that knows anything about business knows that the number one reason why most businesses fail is what? Location. Location, location, location. Location is everything. So, with a fashion truck on wheels, I can put my store in any state, any city, on any street, anywhere, okay? With permission, okay? But it saves so much money, so much of the cost of running a storefront. No rent, I bought a trailer, I bought an eight and a half by 16 trailer. I paid $4,000 for it, okay? Um, I would have went a little bigger knowing what I know now, but my next one will be a little bigger, okay? Um, and what I did is I decided to convert that trailer into a store. Um, I got my trailer back yesterday. I got electric, uh, electricity put into it. So I'm gonna take you out and show you around and show you everything that I've done so far and everything that I have to do, which is a lot, but I'm gonna get it done. Uh, I'm gonna set a goal for grand opening and I'm gonna make sure that I need it, okay? So come on y'all, let's go out and let me show you what I've done thus far. Okay, so we are going out. It is really hot outside. And um, if I stop sweating like a slave, well I shouldn't even probably use that terminology. If I should go to sweating like a fat lady, it's because I am. <laughs> And um, it's not hurting me at all. It's probably doing me a little good. I want to first show you my truck. This truck, let me turn this around. This truck is what I'm going to pull my trailer with. Hopefully you can see that, okay? It is a, a Dodge Ram. And um, it's pretty strong. It's strong enough to tow this trailer. But here is the trailer, okay? And a lot of you guys remember when I bought this trailer, okay? Well, here it is. And as you can probably see and hear, my generator, okay? So let me take you on a ride. Okay, we are getting ready to enter okay this is my trailer okay i'm going to show you what i've gotten done so far i i have got lights put up um spotlights on both sides i've also um this is another light and the electrician gave me um a box fuse box and it comes with a long cord that I hook to the generator to get electricity. Guys, I am gonna have air conditioning. That is probably gonna be the, my last step in this process. But I am, I'm using fans at this current time. And um, the lights, as you can see, are very bright, okay? And, um, has a light switch turn off and on um, he has wired this fuse box so that I can run all the electricity electricity that I need I have several plugs the 
if you can see. Okay, I have one there. I have one here. And I have another one over here. Okay, uh, I can plug up anything I want. Okay, and let's see, what else? Okay, so I am just beginning. I have the electricity. I needed that done because he also done the ceiling. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but the ceiling is white up here now. It was wood. All the wires are being hidden from the electricity that he hooked up. And um, it, he did a very good job, very neat. It was very hard finding an electrician that's able to wire a cargo trailer. It's a specialty. A regular electrician does not know how to do it. Um, so if you plan on doing a fashion truck, what I did is I contacted a trailer manufacturer. You find somewhere in the city that sells cargo trailers and you call and you ask them, hey, do you have anybody on staff that does electricity for cargo trailers? And that's what I did and I found Ronnie who did an awesome job. Um, it was over a thousand dollars, but it's worth it because um, it's just like a house, except for I'm not paying electricity. Paying for electricity, I am putting gas in the generator, and that is it. It was a lot of upfront costs, but not really any long-term costs that I'll have to continue to pay every month. Two dollars worth of gas in the generator, okay? So, this is the wooden walls that I am going to paint myself, okay? I'm going to paint today, tonight, as soon as the sun goes down, because it is very hot here in Charlotte. Um, and then after that, I am going to tile the floors, the wood floors. I've done plenty of tile before in my houses. It can't be that much difficult. Um, I can pay somebody $300 to do it, or I can do it myself. I can pay somebody $300 to um, paint, or I can paint myself. And I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm off for the weekend, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint, and I'm going to put towel down, and then I will come back and show you guys the finished product. And you guys are going to be with me the whole way. You're going to see me complete this whole trailer. Um, all the way down to putting clothes in, okay? Um, when we get done, this is going to be a mobile store. I also want to show you this one last thing. If you can see, there's a ramp. That ramp is the back door, but it goes down into a ramp. I'm going to turn that ramp into a patio. Um, I bought trailer blocks that will even it out, and um, I'm going to put additional clothes out there. Maybe not during the summertime, maybe I'll have it closed to keep air conditions circulating in the summertime, but when it gets fall and the weather gets nice, I'm going to put that down and use it for additional clothes, or maybe... Um, our entertaining section. I'm not sure yet. I'm still deciding that, but I just wanted you guys to see what I have going on here, and I want to, you to follow my progress with me. I'm very proud of myself, and I want other people who may have the same idea to know what to do, okay? Um, I also insulated the ceiling and the walls, which Ronnie, my electrician, he did that for me. He put it a thin one inch layer of, I'm getting hot y'all, one inch layer of insulation foam. So it'll keep it cool in here um, in the summer and warm in the winter. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. I just want to show you my progress this far. 
and I will be back with painted walls and tile floor. And um, until next time, bye-bye.